Hello guys, welcome back to KD Code. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to scrap data from Twitter. But before that, if you see, recently Twitter has limited the access to scrap data from it. So we are going to use an unofficial package that is anti-scrapper and scrap data from Twitter. Without any further delay, let's see how we can do this. The first step is to install the anti-scrapper using pip install anti-scrapper. Run this command. In my case, it is already installed, so it is showing requirement already satisfied. Let's import this package now from anti scrapper import knitter. Run this command. We are importing the knitter uh, instance from this scrapper. That's it. Now let's create an object for this knitter. Let's say scrapper equal to knitter and give brackets like this this will create an object but if you go according to the documentation you can even use this or you can use some parameters inside this uh, object creating object like log level equal to 1 and skip instance check equal to false like that run this command let's run this command to create the object it will create the object for us. It will take the free servers from this scrapper object. It will search using this package. Let's see. Yeah, it's completed now. It's loaded uh, the instance to the scrapper variable. Let's go to Twitter once. This is my Twitter account. So to scrap data from Twitter, we have some functions in this package. Let's discuss one by one. To scrap data from Twitter, we have this function called getTweets. We have imported the scrapper, right? So from this scrapper, we can get this function getTweets. You can just give get dot getTweets in order to access that function. And you can search for any term like IPL. If you run this command, you will get all the tweets about IPL. And one more thing, there are some parameters for this function in which you can change accordingly to retrieve the tweets from Twitter. The first parameter is term. That is nothing but the IPL term I am using here. And one more thing is mode. So coming to this mode, by default, the mode is uh, like term we are using here, IPL. It is in term mode. So there are a few other modes also, like hashtag mode, user mode. And the default mode is, you know that, term. So the basic uh, syntax is, you have to give the get tweets function inside that you have to give the term you want to search for and the mode mode is term every time so if you want to search for any single uh, word then you no need to give this mode explicitly and if you want to get all the tweets from certain hashtag specific hashtag you can change this mode to hashtag like this so you will get all the tweets with the hashtag IPL right and there is one more parameter that is number by the name itself you can guess it right the number of tweets you want to retrieve so you can give 10, 100, 1000, any number as you wish to get all these tweets. So you can get 100 number of tweets, 1000 as you wish. Default is, there is no limit for this. It will retrieve all the tweets. But sometimes, you know, there are many tweets that may crash the system sometimes. So use it accordingly. And there are some other parameters like since, until. So since in the sense, you can give the start date for the tweets and until which date you want to retrieve those tweets right end date so since and until is nothing but the start and end date of the tweets you want to retrieve so these are the basic parameters we use in this function you can explore more in the documentation in the description link let's try to run this command now before that i want to tell you that uh, there is another mode here that is the user mode so what is this user mode in this user mode we can get all the data from the user like uh, if I go to Twitter and search for Elon Musk, he is here. If I search for Elon Musk, you can see there is one adequate identity. This is unique for everyone, right? You have to copy this and paste it in the term position. So if you see this function now, it, is, it will retrieve the tweets that made by Elon Musk because I'm using mode as user, right? 
So it will retrieve all the tweets from Elon Musk account. That is the number of tweets I'm giving 100. So it will retrieve 100 tweets from Elon Musk, which he made uh, in the Twitter, right? Let's see. Um, let's see. Let me do 10. I want to retrieve first 10. That is the recent 10 tweets that is made by Elon Musk. Let's see how it works. Let me store this data in tweets variable, right? Let's run it. It takes some time to in uh, initialize the instance and then it will run the command. See, it's saying unreachable, trying again to reach the instance. So it, it's already retrieved 10 tweets now. Let's see how the tweets look. Let's import pprint in order to print uh, and see the data. print tweets see these are all the data we got top 10 tweets not the top recent 10 tweets that is made by Elon Musk you will see this is the raw data like threads we got uh, none and tweets we got top 10 the date when it is tweeted and the link to the tweet and the stats like uh, the comments likes quotes retweets it had and the test the test of uh, what he is tweeted and the user who who tweeted like the user has information like avatar link to the profile pic and name profile id and username which we used to retrieve all this information right Elon Musk so let's see let's see what are all the key values there in this variable tweets not keys if you see there are only two key values tweets threads threads you have seen it is none let's analyze the tweets now let me take only one tweet here tweets inside that tweets let me take the first tweet right you see this is the link to the tweet and the test the user who tweeted it and the date when it is being tweeted and the stats for this tweet like comments retweets quotes likes like that let me make a dictionary to store all this information and let's convert them to a csv file before that, I want to tell you about uh, one more function that is get profile info. Let's input that function get profile info. So, what is this function about? This function is used to get information of a certain user. Like if you see here, there is user right here. The name, username, profile ID, avatar, everything about the user who tweeted it, right? So we can even get the all stats data of a certain user using this function so this has one parameter that is username let's take Elon Musk again I'm storing the information inside Elon info variable let's run it let's print the variable Okay, if you see, this is the ID number and the image. Image is nothing but the profile pic of that certain user. If you see, it is X. And the name, it is Elon Musk and stats like the followers and following, likes, media tweets, everything. And that last username, which we have already used it to retrieve the information, right? So, this is one more useful function. So, coming back to these tweets. Let's store all these tweets in some CSV format. Before that, I need to create a dictionary to make this raw data into the useful information. Because if you see, the link here is text, and text is text, and the user is a dictionary. So, and stats is also one more dictionary, and pictures is list. This is some raw data with the different data stretches, right? So, I'm going to convert it into a proper key value pair dictionary, and then it into a CSV file. Let's see how can we do this. Let me define a variable here, that is data. In this data, let's say I want to store the link, all the links, and the text of the tweet. So, what is the text he tweeted in the top 10, like the recent top 10 uh, tweets, and the user. I may get uh, the tweets from different users, right? 
not in this case because I'm getting it from the set end user. But if you want to analyze for all other users, you might need this user variable. So I'm including it. And the likes. And the likes he got for the feed. Also quotes. Also retweets. And at last, comments. So that's it. These are the variables I want to take and convert them to the CSV format. So let me iterate over all the tweets using that variable. For tweet in tweets of tweet tweets, right? It is. And if I want to retrieve the link, if you see, it is inside the dictionary. So it is very simple. Data of link I will append all the links to this variable bit of link right and the second one is text dot append of tweet of it is also the immediate key value pair right so text and then user but if you check it it is not the immediate key value pair instead it is inside see user and let's retrieve the name of the user right so to retrieve the name of the user you have to go inside the user key value and then you have to retrieve the name so let's see how we can do this tweet you have to go inside the user this is also one more dictionary so I will do like this to get the name and append it to the user list. Next is likes. So likes dot append tweet of let's see how the lab. So if you see the stats inside this, we have all the comments, retweets, quotes, likes, right? We have to retrieve all this information. So as as we did in the user case, we have to do it here also. Stats inside the stats we get likes so let me copy it and paste it for the quotes retweets and comments also so let's run it if i see the data if i see the data this is how it looks all the links in links list and all the test in test links and the user is Elon Musk and the likes, quotes, retweets, comments, everything in a dictionary, proper dictionary, right? In order to convert into a CSV file, before that let's visualize this data in a data frame. To visualize this data in data frame format, you have to import pandas. Let's import it. Let's define a data frame using the data, data frame of data let's see the top five rows you can use this dot head to see the top five rows so we have retrieve all the information into your data frame in order to convert it into a csv file you just need to give one command df dot to csv of whatever the file name you need like i'm giving it as alone data right dot csv if you run this command see a csv file is created here this is the csv file we just created you can see the top 10 rows link test user likes quotes retweets and comments everything but what if you want to retrieve these uh, tweets for different users again and again it will be easy if you create a function for this right let me do this df create tweets data set so I will be taking the username and the number of tweets to be retrieved, right? So the first step is to import the scrapper and use the function get tweets to get all these tweets, right? Let me do this. Copy it. 
paste it over here before that we can use this scrapper create the instance for knitter instead of this alone mask we can give it as username we had here and number of tweets we already taking inside this function right tweets like this and then the data copy it paste it here we have to convert into the data frame first and then csv right import pandas spd we don't need to do this here you can even do it outside the function let me do it here itself so data frame equal to pd dot data frame of data we are taught to csv so let's take the file name as username class underscore trades data dot csv it will make a data set that is having the username which data as file name so let's run it let me call this function with some other username right let's say let's select mr beast if i see here mr beast i'm selecting the user id for this mr beast copy it create twitch data set call the mr beast so i want to retrieve top the recent 100 tweets let me run this function and see whether it will create our csv file or not so it is creating the instance again but we can even do it outside the function so it will take less time uh, it will not waste the time to import the create the instance again and again so let's see so it is retaining the tweets it retrieved 16 tweets until now 27 tweets one by one it is retrieving 41 tweets 57 tweets it will go until 100 because I have given it as 100 here 71 tweets Eighty one tweets, twenty more, ninety two tweets, at last hundred tweets. Yeah, hundred. And it should be creating our data set. Yes, see it's created here. Let's let's see how this CSV file looks. Yeah. See? Mr. Beast tweets data dot csv as we mentioned in the function and this is a link to the top 100 tweets and this is the test the user likes quotes retweets and comments it got everything these are the recent 100 tweets from mr beast so even if you give this knitter outside the function it will work fine you can define it outside the function and you can just give this function name and call the user with number of tweets you want then it will not initiate uh, the instance again and again instead you just use it only once outside the function and call this function then this part will be skipped and you will get the tweets as fast as possible thank you thanks for watching the video if it is useful please subscribe and if you have any doubts please comment down below feel free to look into the other videos in my youtube channel like scrapping machine learning projects and python tutorials everything else thank you